Federation of Mexican Psychiatry. We acknowledge that our organizing takes place in the original territories of the Blackfoot Confederacy, Kainai, Begani, Tixica, as well as the Tutina First Nation and Stodina Kona Nation. I will start by telling you a little bit about my Tuesday night. On Tuesday at around 9 p.m., we, our organization, received a call from a, from a very familiar voice. She's crying. She's terrified. Her employer has yelled at her in English for days. He has thrown things at her. He has hurt her. She doesn't speak English, but she knows that he's angry by the rage of his face. She knows she's in trouble because this week he has taken the time to learn offensive Spanish words to hurt her verbally. In all of the years he has employed Mexican people, he has never taken a minute to learn how to say thank you. How was your day? I'm sorry. But this week he took the time to learn offensive Spanish words to hurt her. She's also physically hurt because she has endured 11 hours of daily physical work without proper protection. And she's crying because all she wants is to be able to do her work and be treated with respect. She's a migrant farm worker, a brown woman in the middle of rural Alberta who has been coming to Canada for 15 years, 8 months a year, abused verbally, psychologically and physically every single year. And under the federal program she comes, she will never have the opportunity to apply for permanent residency. She's also afraid to report him because her work permit is tied to one employer only, which means he has the power to fire her and effectively deport her back to Mexico. This is all legal under the seasonal agricultural program. Unfortunately, her story is not new to us. This is the population we serve, and these are the stories of racialized people in Canada who migrate with the dream of working, providing for their families, and living in peace. But in many cases, an unfair immigration system fails them and their families, a system that many times has been designed to use, abuse, and dispose of migrant workers. A system that enables abuse and empowers hate. And our Asian brothers and sisters know this very well. From the Chinese head tax to the Japanese internment camps to unfair immigration schemes that effectively held captive living caregivers for years. The Asian community has endured all of this and more. They endure being harassed like no other community in the past year. But they have stood together, and so will we. We are here today to tell you that...